with with the mask filtration system that we've kind of created the OptiFlow system would not be ideal because of the fact that you've got this corrugated uh, nasal cannula. Yeah. And it would pinch and it would occlude your flow too easily. Yeah, yeah. So the one that we would probably go to is the vapor therm system because it's more like a normal nasal cannula. Yeah. And that would be on a on another machine. Right. That would be a whole different machine altogether. Okay. So if we're creating a tent and you know you're using the plastic here off our our high flow but you know if you hooked it up here to your IV pole and then what do you got I don't know <laughs> hey no, so we're just talking tent options and we're trying to just continue to do, you, do you have some plastic like off. that can, can, can you give us one of those plastic bags, bags like that okay yeah, we figured out how to make an exhaust port okay we, we gotta figure it out yeah so and that, so so basically what you've done down here is you've tucked this in and you and you could you could almost tape that and then I mean, um, just tucking it in to, I mean you can see this nasal cannula inflated the bag yeah yeah I need that you'll see so now it's on there okay you could have your high flow nasal cannula go on here. I'll say, why don't you crank it up for test of concept? This is actually much more pleasant than the mask. Yeah. And the truth is, you don't need as tubing as long as this. You could just basically put your adapter in there and, and put your viral filter. Let's do that. Can we do that? So basically, this is, this is venting. Yeah, it's not inflating the bag, so we're draining. Yeah. The tent was far more pleasant than the mask was. As long as they're wearing that high flow nasal cannula, then they can uh, they can get receive their nebulizer treatments. They can receive O2 clearly. And if they go into extremis, then it's a pretty simple operation to rip the bag open. Yeah, you could actually just make hand openings in the bag and do your DL, do your video oh, lenses. You Here. Oh, uh, wait a minute, I need my little, uh, there we go. And Bob's your uncle. Yeah, there you go. So, and then the patient will be wearing that, and there you go. And then you'd have your drain, your little viral filter drain, wherever. So this is, this technique will let you do the adult OptiFlow. Don't put it on the side, right? Yeah, okay, right. now we're putting on the little viral filter. You'll punch through that. That's it. Okay, and so go ahead and put the the, the nasal cannula on. Okay. Well, then you would just have this suspended by a rig here. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay, so then... That has to go. So now we have patient. Okay, then, Lark, help him uh, seal that around his, his trunk. So that's your viral filter that's venting it. It's obviously still puffing air up there. So, and then over here is where it goes in. Well, essentially, I'm creating a flow here, but okay. Yeah, he's feeding me O2. Yeah, yeah. So you're not really using the machine. So we have nasal cannula to nasal cannula. Nasal cannula to a, a short extension, so that we don't create humidity. Okay. And we have a adapter piercing through tent 
and then going in line to the high flow nasal cannula unit. Look at that. Okay, so with this, we've, we've and then you created can a format where you can actually do the high flow nasal cannula without worry that you're uh, aerosolizing virus the, into uh, the air. Mm -hmm.